is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. We have been talking about the past and how to let go. Have you ever been so overwhelmed by the past events that it creeps around you like a shadow in your everyday life, or at least often? It's time to let go to more light in your life and let the dark shadow go. I like to bring all of our listeners different perspectives. I'm a true believer and supporter of individuality and just being you. Life is full of knowledge and knowledge is healing. So today I'm going to share with you how to let go and forgive by the Zen Habits. We've all been hurt by another person at some time or another. We were treated badly, trust was broken, hearts were hurt. And while this pain is normal, sometimes the pain lingers for too long. We relive the pain over and over and have a hard time letting go. This causes problems. It's not only causing us to be unhappy, but constrain or ruin relationships, distract us from work, and family, and other important things. It can make us reluctant to be open to new things and to new people. We get trapped in a cycle of anger and hurt and miss out on the beauty of life as it happens. We need to learn to let go. We need to be able to forgive so we can move on and be happy. This is something I learned the hard way. After years of holding on to anger at a loved one that stemmed from my childhood and teenage years, I finally let go of the anger. I forgave. And not only has it improved my relationship with this loved one tremendously, it also helped me to be happier. Forgiveness can change your life. Forgiveness does not mean you erase the past. Or forget what has happened. It doesn't even mean the other person will change his or her behavior. You cannot control that. All it means is that you are letting go of the anger and the pain and moving on to a better place. It's not easy, but you can learn to do it. If you're holding on to pain, if you're reliving it, and you can't let go and forgive, keep listening. Here's something to think about. Commit to letting go. You aren't going to do it in a second or maybe not even in a day. It can take time to get over something. So commit to changing because you recognize that the pain is hurting you. Think about the pros and the cons. What problems does the pain cause you? Does it affect your relationship with the person, with others? Does it affect your work? or your family? Does it stop you from pursuing your dreams or becoming a better person? Does it cause you unhappiness? Think of all these problems and realize you need to change. Then think of the benefits of forgiveness. How will it make your life happier, free you from the past and the pain? How will it improve things with your relationships and life in general? Realize you have a choice. You cannot control the actions of others, and you shouldn't try. But you can control not only your actions, but your thoughts. You can stop reliving the hurt, and you can choose to move on. You have this power. You just need to learn how to exercise it. Here's a big one. Empathize. Try this. Put yourself in that person's shoes. Try to understand why the person did what he or she did. Start from the assumption that the person isn't a bad person, but just did something wrong. What could he or she have been thinking? What could have happened to them in the past to make him or her do what they did? You aren't saying what they did is right but you are instead trying to understand and empathize. Understand your responsibility. Try to figure out if you could have been partially responsible for what happened. 
What could you have done to prevent it? And how can you prevent it from happening next time? This isn't to say you're taking all the blame or taking responsibility away from the other person. But sometimes, in some situations, it's just to realize that we are not victims, but participants in life. Focus on the present. Now that you've reflected on the past, realize the past is over. It isn't happening anymore, except in your mind. And that causes problems, unhappiness, and stress. Instead, bring your focus back to the present moment. What are you doing right now? What joy can you find in what is happening right now? Find the joy in life now as it happens and stop reliving the past. By the way, you will inevitably start thinking about the past just by doing this exercise. But just acknowledge that and gently bring yourself back to the present moment. Release the pain and the past. Let peace enter your life and go forward thinking no longer of the past, but of the peace and the present. There are so many times that we forget that we have control of what we do, that we have choices, that there's this infinite amount of space between the action of what we do and the thoughts of what we do. And you might be surprised in me sharing with you someone else's perspectives, but so much of that I could relate to. So much of it between how I deal with the past and sometimes how I struggle with the past. Now, coming from something that I have studied in my time of being super obsessed with psychology and personal development is our mind actually has trouble telling the difference between reality and imagination. Now, that may seem very strange, but I'm talking about the biological workings of your brain. That when you're thinking so passionately about your past and you're adding in all those feelings to it, you're actually fueling the fire and making it so there is no difference between the past and now. You're bringing the past into your now. One of the biggest things you can do is realize that because your mind cannot tell the difference between reality and imagination in the sense of feelings and thought, that is the key purpose and the key element in knowing that you have a choice, that you can change it, that when you find yourself thinking of those things, thinking of the hardships of the past, you can gently pull yourself back to the present. I hope sharing all these different perspectives and some of these steps truly help you take action in letting go and finding that present moment. Our mission at The Lone Doctrine is to give you actionable steps towards living a great life. We really appreciate you tuning in and we invite you to visit our site at LoneDoctrine.com. We hope that you'll consider supporting us on our Patreon page. This allows us to keep producing podcasts, to keep producing courses, and more for all of our listeners. Together we are stronger, and anything and everything truly helps. So visit LoanDoctrine.com and click the Patreon button to learn more. The greatest compliment is a referral and is your support. Today... And every day, keep fighting the good fight.